protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com Hey bud, <laughs> let's party! <laughs> This is Ashley Beckford reporting for InfoWars.com, and I'm here to tell you how the federal government is actually grabbing guns from law-abiding citizens. I have an article here from the Associated Press. U.S. court upholds ban on gun sales to marijuana cardholders. A federal ban on the sale of guns to medical marijuana cardholders does not violate the Second Amendment, according to a federal appeals court. This ruling was by the Ninth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals, and it applies to the nine western states that fall under the court's jurisdiction, which includes California, Washington, and Oregon, our medical and recreational cannabis states. Now, this lawsuit was filed by S. Rowan Wilson, a Nevada woman who tried to buy a firearm simply for self-defense in 2011 after she had already obtained a medical marijuana card. As we know, marijuana remains illegal under federal law. Even though Wilson is not a marijuana user, she obtained the card in an expression of support for marijuana legalization. But in this unanimous decision, these judges are assuming that mar medical marijuana card users are more likely to use the drug. They're saying that this use of cannabis raises your risk of irrational and unpredictable behavior with which a gun should not be associated. Wilson's attorney is saying he's going to appeal the decision and he's going to either present it to the same panel of judges that issued the original ruling, a larger panel of that same circuit, circuit court, or he's going to take it all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. And he's saying that even if you're on the no-fly list, your constitutional right is still protected. Wilson says that her gun rights were actually stripped without due process, and I would actually agree with her. The bottom line is this. The irrational and unpredictable behavior is actually coming straight from the federal government. We have a patent from the Department of Health and Human Services issued in 2003, patent number 6630507, cannabinoids as antioxidants and neuroprotectants. We have the federal government who is actually saying blatantly, even though cannabis is a Schedule One drug that they're saying has no medical benefit, no medicinal benefit whatsoever, they're saying blatantly in this patent that they issued and was approved in 2003 that cannabis actually is a medicine. Is heroin worse for someone's health than marijuana? All illegal drugs are, are bad. Does this mean you don't know? Heroin causes an addiction. Okay. It causes uh, causes many problems. It's very hard to uh, to kick. So does that mean that the health impact of heroin is worse than marijuana? Is that what you're telling me? Um, I, I think I think you're asking a subjective question. No, it's objective. Uh, just looking at the science. This is your area of expertise. Although the people who are under this district court ruling that was just made are disproportionately going to be affected until the Supreme Court ruling or another ruling has been made, it really is affecting all Americans right now. This is just another way for the government to strip people's gun rights. We know that veterans can go into the VA and say that they're depressed or that they have PTSD and they're actually being stripped of their gun rights. Many veterans actually can use medical cannabis and they're there have been studies done to help them with the things that they've gone through through the fog of war. How can a federal government be legitimate when it actually criminalizes people who have served this country? How can a federal government be legitimate when it wants to throw out the Constitution, the founding documents of our country? The thing is this, I ask you to compare the number of people who have actually died from cannabis use versus people who have died from converting to Islam. When you put those two statistics next to each other, the juxtaposition is really shocking. The bottom line is this, no one's rights should be infringed. I agree with Tyson Beckford when he was talking about Matt Damon on TMZ, and he said we should be 2A all day. 
I'm with him. This is Ashley Beckford reporting for Infowars.com. Stay tuned for more special reports. Buckley, tell us about Alexa Pure Breeze discounted over 25% off as an introductory promotion. It's the Alexa Pure Breeze. It's an energy efficient HEPA ion cluster air purification system. It has a four stage purification process. It has a HEPA filter, pre filters, and a carbon activated filters. And the most amazing thing about it is that it has this patented ion cluster technology that kills airborne microbes with a final byproduct of clean water. So this is non toxic. It's a beautiful unit. It really looks good. I mean, it will look beautiful in your house in a corner. The Alexa Pure Breeze, which operates as a fan, it's super quiet. The cheapest equivalent unit costs $259.95, and there are other units that are up to $899 to $1,000 that do exactly what this unit does, but they're not as quiet because this one has a silent mode which runs at 16 decibels. Go and just look up online the toxicity of being inside all the time. Great job, Alexa Pure. Infowarsstore.com. Buckley, thank you so much, my friend.